Let's do an advanced assembly with parts from this multibody part. And when you have a multibody part, there is actually several methods to get out the different parts. The method I will choose here will make it a little bit easier to have later on in the assembly doing something called edit in context and have it all uh, influencing this main or master model. Uh, the first thing I would like to do here is to edit the name. So in this case we have two pieces here and for the moment we have cross section turned on. So we could start with turning that off. So right now we see it's highlighting the lower part. So let's rename this. I just click one more time here and then we could have the renaming. And we just call it simply bottom. And we do the same with the top part. And surprise, we call it top. So now we have two different bodies there under the solid bodies folder. So in this case, we could have this as two different configurations. And if you go for the config configuration tab you can see that right now there is just the default configuration and that is with all the bodies visible but now we will right click on the top level and ask for a new configuration add configuration and call this top so there is this will be the top top part of the hair dryer And we will also do uh, another one, and that would be the bottom part. So we could add the bottom configuration at once. When this is active, what we actually would like to see is only the bottom piece. So if I go back to the tree and just delete the top part, or we could say keep the bottom part. Then we could have one configuration with that and one with the top. We put in a new feature. And in this case, we search for the delete slash keep body feature. And I choose to keep, so you could flip between delete and keeping. So I would like to keep the bottom piece in this case. And you could with the right click accept this. So now we have one configuration where it's only the bottom part that exists. So I go for the configuration tab and jump to the top part. And at this point there is there is nothing done there yet. So we will see both bodies and we'll do the same uh, approach again. We will go for the tree manager. And if you go down now, we can see that the first one is inactive. Because in this configuration, we're not using that. So let's do a new feature. Insert feature, delete, keep body. And now we will keep the top piece instead. I could accept in that corner. So now we have a configuration with only the top part. We have one configuration with only the bottom part. So if I double click, we activate only the bottom part. So now it will bring up the lower piece. And then we have also have the default configuration, which was the original one where nothing is deleted. You could see both bodies. Okay, so from this we could actually jump over and make an assembly and that is super easy in SolidWorks. So we just go for file and choose make assembly from part. So if you look at this tiny little icon here, we could recognize that we are now in an assembly. And there is also an assembly tab that we didn't have earlier. And 
in the green window here it says that we should choose a component to insert and the open document the other file we were just working in was called the hairdryer and this is the one we would like to put in here and I really suggest that you turn on graphic preview so if you click on that tiny thing there and go out with the cursor you could actually see what you will put into the assembly if I click in this area now it will just be floating in space in no special uh, position XYZ so instead I think we just go back here and when we go to the OK button it will be positioned correctly like in the original file so I just choose OK oh, wait a moment we just would like to have different pieces I almost forgot and here we have configuration so in this case we choose to only view the bottom part and this is only the bottom part but remember to click on the OK button so by clicking here we will accept to put it into the assembly okay we have the first part there in the assembly so look at the icon assembly and here we have a part so this is one configuration from this multi-body part let's bring in the other piece so when you have put in the first one we just continue to insert components I go for insert component button and we're back in the exactly same position as earlier so in this case we also like to bring in information or object from the hairdryer but not the bottom configuration but instead the top part and here we go but instead of floating around I just go for the OK button and it will be pos positioned correctly okay super so now we have started a assembly here very quickly very easily